Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we're on October 20th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. God bless you all. Thank you for joining me. Starting out here looking at Alaska 2 image. This is showing our heliosphere of our, the sun, any space weather that is heading our way. This is what it looks like normally when there's not many eruptions or solar flares, which our sun is pretty blank right now, no sunspots. There's a lot of filament eruptions that are being activated around the sun. You can see them all moving here. Especially the top left side. Watch that. Pretty sizable. Rip away. Watching for that coronal hole. Equatorial. Earth facing coronal hole. You can see it moving in here under a different image. And our solar wind speeds have been steady at about 350 kilometers per second. Just to give you an example of what our wind speeds are like before the coronal hole wind stream comes in. Looking here at 211 angstroms. Large coronal hole. That is pretty big. So that definitely will be bringing some space weather to us here in the next 72 hours. As it is an equatorial earth facing coronal hole. I want to thank all of those subscribers, friends, and family for tuning in today. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're receiving all notifications when I upload. Let's look at earthquakes here the last 24 hours. Largest earthquake being the 5.7 yesterday in the Tonga region. Just wanted to give you a quick look here. I haven't posted for three days, so... Uh, lots to catch up on here. So a lot of earthquakes here in Fiji region, in Tonga. 5.7 there, and then a lot of aftershocks after the large one. 4.9, ranging to 5.0. Earthquakes in the Philippines today as well. 5.2s, 4.8. Regular minor rumbles through California. Things quieted down a little bit in the Alaskan Peninsula. Watch for that to increase over the next little while. 70, in the next 72 hours, I'll explain that in the five-day forecast coming at the end of the video. Earthquakes here, South Sandwich Islands as well, 5.0. Michael Volcano. Quiet across the African continent and Europe. And have a look at the here in the last seven days for earthquakes. A lot of deep earthquakes. Papua New Guinea and Tonga region. But yeah, most of the action here has been in the Philippines. Ever since that large 6.4 the other day. And that was the largest earthquake the last two weeks. If not three weeks. 6.4. We should be expecting some more sixes here soon. Let's look at the last tropical storm images here. This is Priscilla, who is on the west coast of Mexico, Pacific storm, but will be heading straight across the Mexican state. And then we have a tropical storm, Bueloy, who is just south of Japan right now, uh, but definitely a lot of moisture associated with this storm. You can see here, it is a category one tropical storm will be downgraded here in the next 24 hours as it heads northeast across Japan. We also have a typhoon Neojuri. Now Neojuri will be a category 4 typhoon in the next 72 hours. So stay aware and prepared. This thing's heading towards Japan yet again and we've got a very strong eye signature already early in the storm. So stay aware and prepared. Japan. Looking here, the last seven day visible image over North America. Watching that huge low pressure system that came in off the Pacific and brought a lot of snow and storms throughout Canada. And then watching Tropical Depression Nestor, 
who my friend Dan and the Do Crew member, he shared some photos as a tornado touched down Lakeland, Florida, just north of Lakeland, Florida. Sorry, this is where he's from. So these are the pictures that Dan uh, shared with me. Thank you, Dan, so much for those pictures. The thoughts and prayers going out to everybody who was affected by this nighttime tornado. Imagine that, 1 a.m. and tornado warnings going off. Some pretty crazy pictures here. Thank you so much, Dan, Do Crew, moderator and brother, for sharing those videos, or sorry, those photos with me. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteo Earth, Meteo Mike, overlooking North America right now. Large low-pressure system heading across the Great Lakes and into the Hudson Bay. Definitely bringing a lot of rain and thunderstorms throughout Ontario. Cold temperatures and snow moving in from the northwest. The northern front continues to move south. Definitely watch as this storm moves northeast and into the Atlantic provinces later in the week. We'll have some pretty intense thunderstorm action as that cold front pushes through. Overlooking Priscilla there. We'll head across into Texas State. Area of interest. And then here, five-day forecast for both tropical storms. The one that is just south of Japan right now, heading north-northeast. And then Typhoon Neo Jury. And then these large systems moving into the Alaskan Peninsula. This is what I was talking about. Expect an uptick in seismicity through that region across Russia, watching some pretty large winter storms moving in to Siberia. Looks like it'll be snowing all week there in Russia. Watch for this large winter storm to form. Across Europe, high pressure ridge locked in the Atlantic coastline, low pressure developing the Mediterranean. Watch for extreme weather as well with this storm here. This could be a Mediterranean tropical storm developing. We'll have to see here in the next coming days. South America starting to really get those rains back, which is good. It's been a dry winter for them in, the, in South America. Overlooking a New Zealand. Not much to talk about, except snow in higher elevations. Low pressure system coming from the south there. Absolutely zero weather to talk about in Australia. Thank you all so much for watching today. I leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern hemisphere. Watching these large, vigorous, low pressure systems still spinning around our planet. We gotta keep an eye on those. Thanks for watching today. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from around the world. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.